only Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Joel Simmons back with It Starts With Me. And so you see we've got the nice setup here because it's Christmas time. Merry Christmas to everybody. You know, and we here at Tenacity, we would definitely want to extend our Christmas wishes out to all of you all. I was thinking about this subject, and when I thought about it, I thought about my nephew. And he's on this mission to be, you know, God-fearing and to order his household in a very particular way. And we started to talk about what... Christmas actually stands for, you know, in the world nowadays, especially in, you know, America, it feels as if we're taking the Christ out of Christmas. There's so many different things going on and so many different um, holidays that have mixed in together with the entire Christmas. And I guess without going into too much detail, I just was speaking with him and it's like, well, Christmas stands for Christ Mass, two syllables. And so when we say Merry Christmas, you're really saying Merry Christ Mass. And Christ Mass can be considered in two different ways. One of them is Mass can be Latin for much and also the fact that mass could also be considered to be a large gathering uh, or a service you know as in uh, I'm going to mass and so when you add Christ to it Christ standing for Messiah or the chosen one coming one then you have uh, a large gathering for Christ, Christ Mass. So when we take Christ out of Christmas, then you just have a large gathering. And that is what the holiday has become, a large gathering of presents and gifts and, you know, trees. They're so beautiful. Um, I do love the lights. I'm sure many people love the lights and the kids love the lights. And I don't know, I wouldn't want to get rid of all of those different things. But it's to me, it's so much more about, you know, what it means. My life, just me. I don't know about all of you all out there in YouTube land and Instagram land. But for me, my life changed because of Christ. Because there was this need for something more in order for me to become who I needed to become. I remember maybe about, you know, 24 years ago, I suppose I'm dating myself, when I was you know, just lost in my own world and I needed help bad. And I remember making a call to my mother because I needed so much help. And it was like, I don't know how I'm going to ever make it through what I'm going through, but I need more than what I have today. Today, what I'm going through I need some help. And I don't know if you've ever been there before where you just recognize that you needed more help than you were able to give to yourself, you know, and maybe it's an ego thing. Maybe some people out there, they just want to act as if they never have needed help before in their life. But I'm here to tell you that there came a day when I needed help. And when that day came up, I began to think about all of the different things that could possibly help me. 
and my mind landed on Jesus. And so I'm living off on my own with my wife. She was then my girlfriend and I'm living off with her. And, you know, uh, I'm like, I need Jesus. So the only way I knew how to get to Jesus was to go through my mom. I don't know if there's somebody out there who understands that sentiment. That's kind of crazy, right? But that was the only way that I knew. I guess that's just the way that I grew up. And my mother was the closest person that I trusted that knew Jesus or that knew the Lord that I could depend on. So I was like, oh man, I've got to, I got to change something because I'm going down fast and uh, like a fighter plane, you know, somebody shot out my tail wing and I'm going down. I need this type of help. I need somebody to help me. And what do I do? And so I called my mom up and I was like, mom, I, I, I need Jesus. I can't, I can't do this anymore. My life is spiraling out of control and I don't know what to do. And I need you to take me back to that old time way when we were growing up and I found solace in my service to God. And so I don't know what it is or what it was, but those things that you taught me today has come back to me and I feel like I need that, you know. And the scripture teaches, train up a child in a way you should go when they're old, they will not depart from it. And it's like, that word became true to me because all of a sudden I felt like, you know, it's coming back. There was a place where I was happy. There was a place where I had joy. There was a place where I felt loved. There was a place where I didn't feel like the pressures of this world were too much for me to bear. And that place was in my service to God. It was in Christ. She said, okay. And she took me to service where I would be able to experience Christ. And, you know, I said these things just to be able to share this testimony with you and to be able to share this, you know, this message of Christmas because there comes a time in everybody's life where we all need something. And I don't know what everybody needs out there, but I know what I needed and what has granted me the greatest amount of risk uh, of success inside of my life. And that was, you know, me giving myself over to my God, to Christ. It changed everything. I mean, it changed my marriage. It changed the way that I fathered my children. It changed my health. It changed my job. You know, how I worked. You know, everything changed right then. When I began to celebrate Christmas. And it wasn't like, uh, it wasn't like this time. It wasn't that time of the year, you know. And so for me, Christmas became a year round thing every day is christmas in my book so i never want to x christ out of christmas because all of the large gathering the masses have never been able to fill me or feed me like christ and that's been my greatest gift and it's been the thing that i have built myself up on and all of the dealings that I have, it's those morals, those values, those lessons that I have learned through reading my scriptures and through my devotions and through my meditation and through my prayers and through my services. It's all of that that has made me to be who I am, you know, and it's made me to be what I am. And it has given me the power to deliver that to the masses, to distribute that to others. It has filled me up and given me strength and running in my feet and desire to work out my 
soul salvation and to help somebody, to be a help to somebody, to not always look for somebody else to give to me. I don't want to simply be a recipient. I want to be a giver. So I'm looking for ways to give to many because it was given to me. And it was given to me in such a way that my heart expanded, that my mind became healed, that my body became one. And I'm very grateful, very grateful because of this. So I'm loving this Christmas season. Y'all know I'm down here in Florida. So there's no sun out there. This is I mean, there's only sun out there. There's no snow out there. This is my snow. My snow's right here. And I'm just excited. So I'm praying that you all have a Merry Christmas, that you spend time with your loved ones, that you remind the people that you care about uh, the importance of Christmas to you and what it means to you. And I'd love to hear your story of what Christmas means to you and what it is in this Christmas season that really touches your heart and reminds you of all of the good things that are possible. Wherever you are, remember, as much as it starts with you, it starts with me. Be blessed.